Hi everyone and welcome to our one week in Antalya vlog. So we're staying at Ascalara Resort and Spa. Um, so come with us, join us with our journey in Antalya. So we're going to be doing chilling around the pool, you know, your all inclusive stuff, but also we're going to go to Land of Legends. So hope you enjoy. So you're now joining us on our first morning in Ascalara Resort and Spa. So we're just off down to breakfast. So come and explore it with us. So Anchor Main Restaurant, Spa and Wellness. So that's where we're off to now. So I'll just come down to the pool just for a quick relax and then I'll just jump in the pool in a second. I went and grabbed myself just a rum and cork. Keep me swell. It does look a little bit cold in the pool because no one's in. But I'll, I'll go and test it out, see how it is. Moments later. Right, I think he's gonna go for it, he's gonna dunk. I'm not sure about that one. <laughs> Here he goes. Slowly but surely. Oh. <laughs> one eternity later. Ooh. Nope. Not yet, not yet. No. Much, much, much later. The next day. It's not not too bad once you get in. So I think he's gonna explore in now. He's got his confidence up. Off he goes. Fresh out the pool and then just sunbathing now. Just gonna catch some rays and then we're gonna go up for the evening meal later. Um, and then I think we're gonna watch the entertainment tonight because we saw a sign saying there's a Michael Jackson tribute on. So I mean Vicky thought it'd be quite funny to go and watch. It might be a little bit of a 
bit of a laugh tonight. So, so yeah, we'll, we'll catch you soon. So it's just gone a bit overcast now. So we're just chilling. We're enjoying the chill. Cause not really had a relax for a while like this. So enjoy that, and then we'll be up soon for our shower, get changed, and then we'll see you for our evening meal. So I just went to the bar and asked for some nuts or chips. And he came out with some Doritos, which are like taco flavor. They taste quite nutty. Maybe a bit cheesy as well, but they're nice. Um, I got a lemon iced tea and Vicky got, what would you get there? Cherry juice. Cherry juice, nice. Yeah, so we're trying new things, seeing what, seeing what we like and then so we know for future days. I've convinced Vicky to to dunk herself with her feet. But this is the furthest she's gonna yeah. go. For today. Just for today, yeah. <laughs> and just like that, we're up in the room, we're ready. We've just got ready for our evening meal. Um, we're just off down there now. We're going to be trying to get there for like the one of the earlier ones. I think it's seven o'clock when it opens. So we'll get down there, have our meal. We'll show you um, a little bit more on the food tonight as well. Because on the travel day vlog, we didn't show you too much because it was our first day. So I'll video a few bits of the food. Um, I'll just do a quick outfit check. So here's lovely Vicky's outfit. So go on, talk us through it. So we've got top from Primark, I think. Um, sunglasses, Primark as well. Um, this skirt, I think, is Tesco. That little split. And then shoes are Dorothy Perkins from years ago that were in sale, about three quid. Um, and that's my outfit. <laughs> Quick outfit check for myself. River Island shirt up at the top. Zara Man shorts. And my Vapor Max shoes. Vapor Max. <laughs> so that's our outfit checks. Let's head off for our meal. So this is a terrace area. So we just had our evening meal and we're just off to the shops in the shop. Shops in the shop? Shops in the basement bit of the hotel, which is like your fake kind of ghost, so we'll show you about. So just after the entertainment, it was Michael Jackson tribute tonight, so excited to see what that's going to be like. So as you come out towards the pool, you'll see signs pointing towards the shuttle station. It's quite simple just to follow. Just follow the arrows round and you just turn right following here. But what a lovely view that is. Some of the hotels here lit up look really nice. But yeah, just follow this way. The hotel next door looks a bit active.
so we're just on our way back from the entertainment. You can still hear a few hotels going off it now with some loud music. Um, but yeah, no, good, good, good little tribute to MJ there. Um, quite, quite good to be fair. I thought it was going to be worse than it was. Um, but no, good. So I'm just walking back to the shuttle bus area. I'm going to probably catch that, see how long it takes now to get home, and then I shall see you at home. One more little bit just before I go. The, uh, the entertainment's on grass outside, so I thought, you know, I'll spray my legs up with like mosquito bite, but even still, I could feel my legs getting a little bit like nibble that. So I thought, right, if I'm watching the entertainment again, I wear, I'm gonna wear pants, just because I don't wanna risk it. So yeah, just walking to the shuttle bus now. Good time, it's just turned up. So I just timed how long it would take from the Wet n Wild Park on the shuttle bus back onto the Escalara Hotel. And it took exactly three minutes from getting on the coach to then getting off, which is pretty good. Um, I'm gonna work out how long it took to walk and then I'll let you know. So walking took me four minutes, 26, which is not too bad. Um, but if you want to beat that record, give it a go. Yeah, there's literally not too much of a difference between walking and getting the shuttle bus if you're like quite active on your feet. So like I am, I can get about quite easy. So um, it's good, but it's good for the people who are a little bit bad on their feet. Also, um, the shuttle bus is good for. So just in the elevator now, up to floor three where we're staying. I do like these elevator lifts. Just where you can glass doors where you can see through into the reception. It's really nice. So yeah, just after the room. So we're back into the hotel room now. Um, watch the MJ. It was not too bad, was it? Mm, it was good. Yeah. Um, and then back into the room, just into our comfies. We're just going to chill on the balcony just for a little bit. Um, so a quick chat and have like some one-to-one -one time. Whilst Vicky eats some Budweiser, crispy coated potatoes. <laughs> Hi everyone, welcome to our day two in Antalya. Come with us to go and get some breakfast. So as you can see, we've come to the room, we've had a quick change, ready for the pool. We've got our donut ring inflatable, um, I'll be jumping in later into the pool. Um, we got it from a corner shop, just around the corner for about £10, which I thought it's not too bad. Because even if you had to throw it out, it's, like, it's not too bad of a price. But we'll probably keep it because it only packs up quite small, which is good. So you'll catch us in a minute in the pool. I just went getting one of these ice shoes, which is like a slushy. He also went getting Vicky a beach iced tea and two bottles of water. It's also a really nice day today, sun's out, gleaming, lovely weather. We're just jumping into the pool now, I think we're going to take the trusty old ball in. Just have a play around with that and then we'll try, try to take the donut in as well. So I'll clip some videos in now. Come on, jump. 
but a little bit cold in the pool, but once you're in, you do climatise to it, don't you? Yes. It's yeah. quite nice in the middle. Yeah, nice. Especially when it's warm. <laughs> Oh, yeah. yeah, there you go. <laughs> How'd you get out there? <laughs> so we're just quickly going to go back to the room drop a few things off and then go for our lunch. So I just went to the Starbucks downstairs and got myself a mocha frappuccino, which is like chocolate and coffee syrup mixed with milk. Really nice actually. Um, but I asked about the refreshers. So they do a cool lime refresher and the berry hibiscus fresher, I think, refresher. Um, because Vicky, Vicky's basically been wanting one of them. And for our stay at the moment, for the two days, there's not been any in. So I asked, oh, have you got them? And they said, oh, I don't know, maybe maybe today. I don't know though. So, I don't, I don't know if they will get them in, which is a bit of a shame because it's one of the reasons why we came to this hotel because we saw the Starbucks and we saw the refreshers and we were like, oh, Vicky loves them. Um, that's like a really good bonus for us to go to the hotel and they don't have them, so it's a bit of a shame. Um, so I might go and speak to one of the people down at reception, see if they know anything, anything more. But I'm happy. I, I like these. It's just a shame for Vicky. But... I'll, uh, we'll catch you down at lunch. Just heading down for lunch at the main restaurant. Today's lunch, so I've gone for some tomato with pasta. I think it's, what's this one called, isn't it? It's like a creamy pasta. Chips, like chicken nuggets and baby potatoes. Vicky's pretty much gone for the same thing. So we're sat in our favourite seats here at the restaurant. So we've got like a nice like water next to us. But also, because there's a railing here, it's quite private. So it's just like, kind of like us sat here. And you spin it round, have a look at that way. The doors are just there. Uh, yeah, really nice, we enjoy it here. So this is our favourite seats. So me and Vicky just been sitting here having our, having our lunch. And then some woman just comes through these doors here jumps on this, climbs around here to walk around the back of us. So I've just seen this which is pretty cool, the weekly cinema program. So Friday at 3 p.m. is the Fantastic Beasts. And then later on, Venom. Is it Venom 1? I think it's Venom 1. Nice.
So I've just had a look round at that spa downstairs, what do they call the Amon? Amon Spa. Amon Spa, yeah. Um, and this guy was showing you, showing you like, oh, like the prices and the deals that they had on. I didn't quite film one of the sheets that he brought over, which was like a special deal kind of thing for the week. So make sure you ask for any special deals, don't. Mm. If you pay like the first price, that's what they're sometimes after you're paying for the first price. If you go for like, oh, have you got any deals? They will they will kind of not bring the price down a little bit. Um, and yeah, for if couples as well, he did say he'd give discount for couples. Yeah, if there's like two of you doing it. Off the discounted price. Yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, no, it was, it was really nice in there. So there is a spa, indoor pool, spa? Sauna. Sauna, indoor pool, steam room that you can use for your charge with the hotel. So we will be doing that on one of the later days, which we'll show you. And it's not quite as sunny. Yeah, but yeah, it was really nice. So we'll catch you soon. So we're just gonna walk over to the wet and wild side. Yeah, so just walking over now. There's a bit of a queue there for the shuttle bus, but we thought if it's not there, we'll just walk. Like I said, it only takes just less than five minutes. Um, what I just showed you then was actually a towel station where you can get your towels from. So that's just the shuttle bus just going back to the hotel. So we're just walking now, we'll show, also we'll see if it comes past us by the time we get there. It has gone a little bit of like an overcast at the moment. Still like a nice kind of temperature, a little bit breezy, but um, a little bit of an overcast. So what we're going to do is we're going to try and do some, maybe some activities like table tennis if we can. Um, just instead of lying there sunbathing when there's not too much sun, just thought make the most of it whilst we can and do some activities. So see you in a second. So as you can see, we're just making it to the wet and wild side of Ascalon Resort and Spa kind of section. And we're well here before any kind of shuttle buses here. So like I said, if it's not there, then you can walk. You might as well walk. So the entertainment tonight is the Mongolian acrobats at half nine. We had a good time playing table tennis then, who won it? Yeah, I think we had like two mini games and I won them both. Taking it a little bit easy still, but... So the football pitches are just there and over to the right side, just behind us, is the entertainment where we watched the Michael Jackson and where we're watching the entertainment tonight. So we're just walking back to the main kind of hotel area. We've had a little bit of chill here. Um, back off to the main bit and I'll show you what we're doing over there. So we're just heading to the room and then we're going to go to the Rotary Cafe bar Yeah, thing. like cake bar, yeah. Yeah. Get some cake. Just, it's not very really sunny and we just fancy having a little sit down and chat and something to eat. Yeah, just before we have our tea. So yeah. I'll catch you there. See now John is on our balcony, just got some nuts here, we didn't really fancy any of the cakes we had a look, um, we have quite a few selections but um, didn't really fancy any so we just thought we'd come to our balcony have some nuts, we also got a fused tea, now we've not tried this flavour before, it's mango and pineapple so I'll let you know how that is in a second. Um, but yeah, we'll just sit here, we'll enjoy this little bit of a snack. Then we'll get ready for our tea and then we'll go out. So we just cracked off and the, the fused tea, the mango and pineapple one, and it smells really good. 
Nu. Sau ați ales? Smells better than it tastes, to be fair. I'll see though. It's, it's nice, but just not better than it tastes. It's waxing like flavour, really. Yeah, it tastes a bit like watered down iced tea. Uh, that's what we got a watermelon one as well, and that was same, Sim wasn't similar. Similar, yeah. I think six of the six of the peach or yeah. lemon. I think peach is the best one. And vanilla. Or oh, vanilla, yeah. Well. And we got to five that. five guys at Trafford Centre. The vanilla fused tea. Yum. Gorgeous. <laughs> So we've just been talking we thought it looks like it's about to rain and I've just looked down into this like a little bit of a river pond you can see raining. Oh. I changed my mind. Yeah. It's not it is nice, but I still think peach is better, but I think if if it's there try it, it is nice. This is what tonight's meal is looking like. Starter for me. <laughs> Round two. So we're just sticking with the two plates today. Just because they had two quite big portions. Mm. Yeah, usually it'd be three, but sticking with the two today. I'm saving my belly for the for the desserts now. This is the desserts for today. I've got Professor Rolls, a clava and like a chocolate cake. Looks a little bit messy but I'll let you know what the review's like. What have you gone for, Vicky? <laughs> I think that answers your question on how, what they were like. Alright, Vicky's trying Turkish tea for the first time. So we just had some pictures along this bridge. Looks really nice when it's uh, sort of lit up here at night. I'll clip some pictures in now. And then we're just off to go and get a Starbucks. I've just seen someone with a cool line refresher, so fingers crossed. Yeah, that's where we're off to now. Vicky, Vicky is one happy girl. <laughs> So we finally got the cool lime refresher, Vicky's favourite drink. Funny. Yeah, don't try it yet. Um, so the real test is now, does it taste like the one at Starbucks? Mm -hmm. And we're going to show Vicky's reaction. Go on, Vicky. It's the same. Exactly the same. Yeah. Let's have a taste. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's really good, nice and Cheer refreshing. Cheers, Vic. So fast forward about an hour and you join us at the wet and wild kind of section where we're just about to go and watch the entertainment. It's the Mongolian acrobats tonight. Let's see, see what they're like.
So we've just finished watching the Mongolian acrobats. Um, it was actually quite good. Um, yeah. Quite funny to watch as well at times, <laughs> just because of a few things that I think happened that weren't supposed to. But oh, yeah. um, she was shooting the bow and arrow with her feet um, and missed twice, but it's all good. I don't think I could do no. any but, better. I know, it's still, still really good, but... Yeah. But, uh, but yeah, no, that was good, good to watch. Um, we've just come for a walk along the beach. So we're on like the jetty now. Uh, we're just gonna walk up the jetty, walk up and down there and then uh, come back, go back to the room and then... Have a little chill on the balcony, have some snacks and just talk and then go to bed. Entertainment for the week is listed up here, so it goes from like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, so you know which is which. Yeah, so tomorrow night is the Miss Asker at half nine again. And just like that, we're back in the room. I just got changed, and I'm actually going to go down to the Owl nightclub downstairs, which is open from 11 o'clock till 2 a.m. I'm just going to have a quick look what it looks like. Um, show a little bit of videos and stuff and then come back up. I'm not going to be there all night, don't worry. Hi everyone, welcome to our day three Antalya vlog. So we're just about to head down for breakfast, um, have some food and then we're probably going to pop down to the pool afterwards, aren't we? Yeah, head down for the pool and then have a quick relax. It's supposed to be quite nice today. I think about highs of 28 degrees, so... yeah. Um, make make sure it. we'll get some cream on and uh, yeah, make the most of it because the last couple of days have been a little bit on and off, sunny and then cloudy. So yeah, we'll make the most of it. So we'll see you down at breakfast. Bye. So we're just getting our breakfast and me and Vicky love these spoons because they're massive. Don't think it's on, didn't you? <laughs> so we managed to get our favourite seats again. I'm just going to show you that spoon to bowl ratio. <laughs> What are the fruit loops like, Ricky? Delicious. That's so why I, I decided to go for something different today for breakfast. I went for the like the Nesquik chocolate balls, and they're actually really nice. So I went for pineapple juice this morning. Um, I had it yesterday morning as well, and it was actually quite nice. It's just a little bit too watered down. So you do get three different choices of what like juice you want in the morning. There's pineapple, orange and apple. You've got plenty of choice really. You think pineapple's the best one, yeah? I think so. I've not tried the orange, but you did. Yeah, I think I think pineapple, I agree with that. Yeah. I think orange is a, I think they're, they're all, all three of them are a little bit too like they almost taste like the water down a little bit. Um, so pineapple you can kind of get away with it because it's not like as Acid, acidic, is it, yeah. you say, like, so it's not as strong, so you kind of get away with that. Whereas, like, orange and apple, you can kind of taste it yeah. been a bit watered down. This is round two for me. Just caught waffle with some chocolate sauce on, and then probably going to go up and get a third plate this morning. Quite hungry. And I've gone for the cheese omelette, beans, potatoes, and some grilled fillet. Mm -hmm. Quick review on the pancakes. Waffles. Waffles. What are you thinking, mate? Just a bit stiff. Yeah. Waffle. Go on, show us how you cut it. Oh god, no. No. It's not great, but it tastes alright. And finally, I just made myself a nice free stack pancake. Tried to make it look as good as possible, but on the walk, the pancake slipped and all this uh, chocolate sauce fell out. So I'll just show you from this angle. Vicky's got herself the smallest portion ever of one piece of halloumi that she's halfway through and a scoop of potatoes. <laughs> but they're actually really nice and potatoes and halloumi so. So we're just finishing up at breakfast and on the way in, well, when we're walking back out, we're going to show you a little bit of a thing we've been a little bit disappointed with at breakfast. Um, what is it, Vicky? Is it? Um, yeah, there's... There's fruit, but it's all like whole fruit, so like apples, pears, bananas. Um, but there's no like cut up like watermelon or kiwi and like pineapple, which is like usually standard when you go yeah. to an all inclusive, which is a little bit disappointing because I love having fruit in the morning. 
Yeah, so we're gonna gonna maybe speak to the uh, TV rep about that. Just just mention it, just say because we do. Like I said, I've seen on the desserts we've seen some strawberries, so they do have them. It's just like why why are they not putting it out? Um, so we'll, we'll show you that now. So this is the three options. So you have oranges, um, pears, apples, and like, oranges. So the only like cut of fruit is the oranges here. The rest of it's whole fruits, which is a bit of a disappointment to be honest. So we've had a quick change and now we're just off down to the pool. Two peach iced teas and a Fanta. So we're just going to enjoy a relax around the pool and we'll catch you soon. Not a cloud in the sky today. Beautiful, beautiful. Round two for drinks. I think we're both going for a mixed slushy. So we'll show you that in a second. So I'm just on my way back with the slushy now. The only thing I'd say about that pool bar is there's one guy like working really hard at the bar and there's no like waiters walking around asking if there's any drinks. Um, which you can see the guy's kind of hooked off his feet. There's about a queue of like five, ten people waiting. Um, so it's like taking a while for people to get the drinks um, which then reduces probably the, the guy's customer service a little bit so because he's obviously a lot worked off his feet is a busy it's harder for him to be as nice as he would be if there's just one person so I feel like there should be two different people on the bar now they have had it where there's been a, a waiter on skates around this main bit but I think most of the time they're at the wet and wild area um, so if you are at the main pool in Ascalara just expect a little bit of a wait so if you wanted a drink so I just go up I order free drinks so I'm not having to go back and forth um, so I got myself a slushie and I also got um, a virgin pina colada so it's just coming up to one o'clock now so we're gonna head for some lunch we've left our towels on the beds because we're gonna be going back straight after but yeah we'll have some food yeah we're going to the main buffet again um, and I think I'm gonna try the snack bar later as well so I'm gonna get a bit of food now and then try the snack bar at the wet and wild area later so I'll catch you soon. So we've just sat in the shade today because we're out in the sun quite a bit. So that's what we're doing. So today's lunch, chicken drumsticks there. Trusty old chips. I think this was, was it, what was this called? Papadal? Pasta, yes. Yeah, Pasta right. papadal, yeah. Um, like tomato we passed here with peas. And for drink, I just got a lemon iced tea. What do you get, Ricky? Lemon iced tea. Peach. It's peach. I thought you were going to the lemon. It's peach. <laughs> so we've just had our lunch and now we're just going back to the pool for a bit more sunbathing. So we're back at the pool just lounging. And I'm going to the bar to get a drink. And Vicky's asked me to get an Ask a Kid star. So I thought. I'll get myself a Power Ranger drink as well. <laughs> so yeah, two like non-alcoholic cocktails, Power Ranger and Ask a Kid Star. What should we do, Vic, on the Power Ranger drink? That's your dad, eh? It's nice. I think it's got apple juice. Pineapple juice and coconut and the syrup in. Yeah. Nice. I'll just jump in the pool for a little bit. Catch you soon. I've just been and dipped my toes in, but it's uh, very cold today, so there Danny goes, there he is, he just went for it, he literally just walked straight in. Fresh out, fresh out the pool. <laughs> so change of plan, we're not actually going to the snack bar because I'm quite full still, so uh, we're just chilling around the pool just here. So it's been a really nice day today, the, uh, the weather's been really good, I think it's been about 28 degrees, Yeah. Um, you can see the sky above, like, literally no clouds in the sky, so it's been, been really nice. So yeah, we're off to the room and then we'll let you know what we're going to do from there. So 
So we just had a quick stop at, at Starbucks and we're trying the Dairy Hibiscus drink, which is like the other refresher. So we tried Cool Line yesterday. Let's try that Dairy Hibiscus. So I'm going to try Berry Hibiscus for the first time because I've never tried it before. Really good. Yeah? yeah. Nice. Better, Better than, than the cool line. line. Yeah. yeah. Oh no. <laughs> and just like that, we're changed ready for our evening meal. Um, we've had a little bit of a chill in the room on, on the balcony. Um, we're off ready for our evening meal now. It's just about turn seven, so it's just up and downstairs. But before we go down, we'll show you our outfits of the day. So my top is from Sheen, or Sheen, however you say it. Um, my shorts are Primark. Shoes are Dorothy Perkins again, I've worn these before. And my jacket is, I think it might be Tesco. Have a look at my back. Have a check. Mm -mm. What was it from? Have a guess, never guess. Asda? Nope. Have a guess? No. Nope. Where? Primark. <laughs> Lovely. Well, actually, got me that. So there you go. Um, so is it? Shows the jewelry. Jewelry. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So we've seen that one. That's from. Yeah, uh, accessorize. Then we've got Cartier, Pandora, Joma jewelry, and Cartier. Again, and then Tiffany earrings and Pandora earrings. Outfit of the other day from me. Nice and simple. So I've got. Shirt from H&M, and we've got Primark shorts. Just want to add in as well, the reason that I'm wearing a cardigan is, for one reason, obviously when it gets cold, um, it's nice, but another thing is if you both leave the table to go and get another plate and you're like halfway through your drinks and it kind of looks like you've left, if you leave like a piece of clothing at the table, usually they don't move your drinks. However, didn't quite work yesterday. Didn't work yesterday, but we like to take it down just in case, you know. Yeah, we'll, it try, works. we'll try it. We'll try it again <laughs> tonight. <laughs> so we're just on our way down to our evening meal, um, we've got a funny story to show you later about the ice cream. Very busy tonight. Round one for me is noodles tonight. So you know the food options aren't the best when your second plate comes looking comes out looking like this. Salmon fillet for round three. Finally, some ice cream. So we've just finished up at our evening meal, and we were going to tell you about the ice cream story. However, we went to the ice cream, and there was a different woman there. So the story was, it was a guy who basically gave you the smallest ice cream serving ever, mm. and we we're going to get a video of it. But there's a woman on, and she gave like really good scoops, so we're happy with that. So. <laughs> We're just heading back to the room now. Um, we're going to have kind of like a chill night tonight. Um, we'll, we'll tell you later in a second. Quick stop off at Starbucks again. <laughs> Mocha frappuccino for me and... Very hibiscus again, making yeah. the most of it. Yeah, might it's as well, because it's gratis. <laughs> and we're back in the room. So tonight's theming on the food, as you would have seen with mine and Vicky's plates, was what, Vicky? Fifth night. Yeah, that's why we didn't have too much tonight. Wasn't the best. Yeah, so. But I like fish, however, only when, like, I know how it's been cooked. So, like, I like it if I make it or my mum makes it or Danny's mum makes it or Danny makes it. I like it, but I'm just not 100% like elsewhere. So, it wasn't ideal for me. Yeah, it was pretty, pretty weird because it was like quite a lot of dishes were based around it. So, you had like the, the pasta, but then it also had fish in it. She's like, oh, if, if you just want like something to do with pasta, like tomato pasta, no, you can't have it because it's covered in fish. And it wasn't just like fish you could take out easily. Yeah. It was almost like bits yeah. cut up in it. So that was a bit of a difficult thing. Um, I had the salmon. I thought it was quite nice. So like I said, if you are like a fish fan, it would have been a good thing for you. But mm. I do know a lot of people myself as well that don't really like fish at all. So if they came, it would be like a bit of a problem. So it's one of those you can kind of take it either way. So me and Vicky are sat on the balcony and we've just decided to play that game where it's like you guess the kind of person above your head. Like so, guess who? Yes, yeah, so this is the person you, I picked for Vicky to guess. Also, it's a person. And then Vicky. And then this is who I have picked for Danny. So let's see how well this goes. 
Alright, go on, you guess first. <coughs> Am I female? No. Okay. Am I a character? Yes. Oh. <laughs> Am I an actor? No. Am I like a male character? Yes. Am I a musician? No. Okay, so I'm not female. Uh, okay. Am I, um, is my male character in a human form? Right, like, is it a human? Not as fully. A character? No. Not fully. Alright. Um, am I male? Kind of. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, My guess. Yeah. So. Um, can I guess who I am? Yeah. Am I Shrek? Yeah. Am I? <laughs> <laughs> Shrek, get in. I'm right, not Nikki. playing this game anymore. Yeah, I'll go. So I'm kind of male. Yeah. That's how you got the number. Am I a person? No. Am I a character? Yes. Right. Kind of male. Yeah. Kind of male. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like. Yeah, what was the question I asked? Well, you said, like. Oh, am, am I human? It's similar to yours. No, not quite. About two hours later, Vicky got there with the answer of Vecna. <laughs> so I was Shrek, Vicky was Vecna. Playing another round. Should we play another game? Yeah. Yeah, another round. And it's now morning four. Last night we had a couple of games of that Guess Who. Um, <laughs> ah, we didn't we didn't film one, but we had a nice time just sat on the balcony doing that. And now we're just off for breakfast again. And then we'll show you what we're doing for the rest of the day. <laughs> One of the longest things in the world. So this is the only fruit option and Vicky's struggling to cut it. She said it's not ripe, not very ripe, so I'll let you know what it's like in a second. So the pear is very similar to the apple. Quite uh, quite like an apple's texture, not too soft what pear's supposed to be like, but not the worst ever. So apple's not too bad, just like a crunchy green apple. I prefer red apples, but it is, it is what it is. It's not, not the worst, it's just a bit, a bit of an annoying thing to do when you're on holiday. You'd rather just have it already cut up so you can eat it. So we just got back from breakfast. I think it's just getting very samey now um, with the food. Like, obviously, me being a little bit more picky, I'm finding it hard to find things that are, you know, different for me to try. I tried toast this morning, because I do like toast. Um, but it was just not it it was dry the butter just it, yeah just not hitting the mark really is it i'm, I'm not too bad because i have i don't mind having the same stuff so mm. like omelets um beans whatever eggs uh, and then pancakes or cereal it's not too bad for me but if you do want change i think breakfast has been the same every morning which like I said, for people who are a little bit pickier, it is hard. Oh, let's yeah. find something. It's doable with breakfast, I feel like, because at home you generally have the same thing for breakfast anyway. Um, and breakfast foods are kind of all right to have repeatedly. But when it gets to, like, dinner and lunch, that's when it's a bit... Yeah. Another thing as well, I think, I was speaking to Vicky about it before. I don't think we've been... I think we've been asked once, do we want mm. a tea or coffee? Luckily, we're not tea or coffee drinkers. Otherwise, we have to go and find it ourselves or go and ask ourselves. But I feel like in this hotel, it's been the same everywhere. I feel like it's a bit understaffed. Mm. So for, especially for waiter options, there's not as many as there should be. So yeah. there's like one person patrolling a hundred tables or something. Yeah. So if someone's asking for one thing, you have to go and do that. Yeah. And by the time that you're, on, you're already on your second or third plate, so you might as well just go and get your drink yourself. Yeah. So luckily there's juices where you can just like kind of pour it yourself. Mm. But yeah, um, 
I'm just gonna get our stuff together now and then we're gonna head down to the pool. Are we going to the wet and wild bit? I don't know. We'll just So we're just off to the wet and wild part of the hotel. Um, so we're just going to go, we're going to have some food and just chill around the pool for a little bit but we're not going to film much just because we're just going to be relaxing, that's all. Just heading for lunch. So this is the menu, you can get hot dogs, burger, crispy chicken, chicken wrap, beef wrap, vegetable wrap, sea bass fillet or you can get some pasta. I think one's been crossed out there but you can get a penne arrabbiata, a farfalle which is chicken vegetable sauce and a spaghetti, just like a standard spaghetti. And then pizzas on the other side. So four different pizzas you can get. And then the desserts here. So here's the burger. It's not been presented the best. And Vicky's chicken wrap. Brownie and ice cream for dessert. And for Vicky, ice cream and fruit salad. So we've just finished our lunch at the snack bar at the Wet n Wild section. Um, so Vicky had fun. We kind of shared the burger and the chicken wrap. The burger wasn't the best, but the chicken wrap was quite nice. And we also had a chocolate cake with ice cream for the dessert. That was really nice, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. And then we had the fruit salad, which was okay as well. Uh, like I said, it's nothing like mind-blowing amazing, but it's it's okay. So we're just off on a walk now. We're just going to the shops. Um, Get some more snacks in because we've devoured most of them so yeah we're gonna go get some more bits some bananas things like that yeah and i'll show you a little bit around the shops there yes. this is the shop that we're going into there definitely is something about shopping when when you're abroad there's something something about it just seems better than shopping in england so just a quick food haul so we have the bananas in the corner a sparkling grape kind of drink Chili and lime, like pretzel sticks. This is like a um, pop. What do they call them? Like a. They're like um, rice cakes, but like popcorn. Yeah. Rice cakes. Yep, some crisp, which are which flavour there? I think they're just like spicy, kind of like a curry flavour from what yeah, I've read in the nice. ingredients. Just a chocolate uh, croissant for Vicky for breakfast. Some uh, cream cheese for Vicky for crackers. Could we have some mini cheddars? And I got some Turkish Delight and all this came to 214 Lira, which I'll pop in how much that is in pounds as well. So we got back from the shops, we got ready for our evening meal and this is our outfits for tonight. So what are you going for Vicky? Same outfit as I think the first night, um, just because I'm saving my two best ones for tomorrow and the night after. But I've got my Tesco dress, my Christian Dior sliders um, and my M&S bag, my trusty cardigan, and then your jewellery, jewelry, as I've mentioned before. <laughs> so I've got a River Island cord set on, just a white kind of mesh feel to the top, and then Air Force Ones. Nice and simple. So whilst we were out doing a little bit of shopping, we went and got some magnets. Um, so we like to take magnets home for Danny's family and my granddad. Um, because he's got a fridge full of magnets from where we've been. However, we have to be very particular because he can't have ones that stick out too much because he'll knock them off otherwise. Yes, yeah, so so. this one's quite quite flat. <laughs> it's quite flush to the fridge when it's on. Yeah, we got one from Ron that had like doors that open on, and he he said, "Vicky, I'm always knocking the magnet off. Can you get me some spoiler? <laughs> yeah, can you get me some flat ones for next time?" So uh, we listened to him. <laughs> we've learned. So yeah, just after evening meal now. Tonight's first round. And first round for Vicky. Main round. <laughs> Main round. <laughs> round two is the same thing. So we're just having a walk with our ice creams. It's our tradition. When, when we get our ice creams finished our meal, we just go on a walk across this bridge, taking the nice views and then walk back to the room. Okay, so we're just going to head over to the Wet and Wild now um, to go and watch the entertainment for tonight, which is live music. So we'll show you some clips of that.
So we just got back from the entertainment and it turned out not to be live music. It turned out to be this like group called, I think it were Extreme Stars, which did like um, dance, um, kind of like flips, basketball stuff, um, stuff on cycling and like roller skates. And then they also had a bit of like acrobat stuff in as well. So um, they were quite good. They made a few mistakes along the way, but it's expect expected when it's like hard stuff to do. So. So yeah, no, good to see. So we're just off to sleep now and then we shall catch you in the morning. Hi everyone and welcome to day five of our Antalya vlogs. So we're just about to head down to the wet and wild section of the hotel and we're going to chill by the pool for a little bit and then we'll catch you. So we've just got one of ourselves, one of them goslems, Turkish like prep. And we're just going to chill around the pool for a little bit and then go for lunch. So we're just heading back to the main restaurant for our lunch. Just to go, just going for the buffet today. Um, hopefully we'll get some pasta or something like that. And then we shall be back in the pool later. Oh, now look at this. Is that a full plate, I see? So I'll talk us through what you got. I got some salad -y bits. So I've got cabbage. I don't know what that is. <laughs> um, carrot, cucumber, nice. and tomatoes. Yeah. I don't know what that is. It's like garlicky bread in it. And then chicken steak. Oh, nice. A bit of bread and a bit more bread. Nice. That's <laughs> what I've gone for. Like a ravioli and a tomato sauce, chips and turkey fingers they were called. So it's about 30 degrees today. It's probably one of the hottest days I've seen in like the last five years. <laughs> Actually it is well, isn't it? It does feel very well. Yeah, right. No breeze at all. Very humid. Yeah. Um, and the temperature we saw says 30 degrees, so not complaining though. Rather be you than at home. So I just got myself a little smaller second portion. So chicken steaks in the corner, like a pita bread with some kind of sausage on, and then cucumber as well. Now these chicken steaks are not too bad, but they've only had them like two, two out of the five days we've been here. Um, I think if they had them more, they'd be a lot more popular with us. So we'll just head into the pool now. Just went and got ourselves some nuts, bread slushy, and uh, sex on the beach. There he is, he's got Starbucks. <laughs> oh my god. Try that cool man, it's actually that. Is it? Go on, have a test. That is a good cool man. Very, very good. Just finishing up at the pool, and then we're just back up to the room, get changed, and then we're down for our evening meal. So we're changed now, I'm about to head down for our evening meal, so we're going to show you our outfits. So my dress is from H&M, and my shoes are Dorothy Perkins as usual, and I've just got a few bits of jewellery on as normal, nice and simple. Outfit of the day, so polo shirts from River Island, the shorts are from Zara Man, and obviously the shoes. Thank you, again. So we've got our favourite table again. So tonight's meal. So we've got rice and chickpea curry, um, some chicken there, pasta arabiata, and some pizza. And to be fair, tonight's options don't look too bad, do they? Yeah. Yeah, looks like probably one of, the, one of the better nights. Vicky's gone for some chickpea curry and rice some pizza and then some salad as well and some wedges oh yeah some wedges <laughs> hiding <laughs> so one more thing is they don't have any like what do you call them like napkins yeah like napkins like they only have these paper towels so 
especially for a fast start, you should, should obviously be standard just to have them. I'm just thinking because I got my white shorts and there's nothing really to cover it apart from these. So that's slightly disappointing, but I've seen them before, just not. Sometimes I need them, they're not here. So I've been chewing on this chicken for about. 15 minutes. Honestly. <laughs> a bit dry. Oh, honestly, it's really hard to swallow. Really dry. The quality of the meat, not the best in this hotel. I've said it for the forward, it's like. I mean, look at that. So for round two, I've gone for similar to what I did with round one, and then some broccoli as well. So this is how desperate we have to have strawberries. I've literally picked every dessert that has a strawberry on top. <laughs> and I a also, strawberry off display. Yeah, I've picked a strawberry off display. <laughs> so that's the desserts. Also, I can't find a spoon anywhere. So I just nipped into one of the drawers, and the only, the only spoon I could find was this. <laughs> so, <laughs> one second. Let's have my dessert. So we just finished up at our meal. Uh, we've just been taking a few pictures around the pool just because it's quite nice when it's all lit up just behind and the hotel here. So yeah, it's really, really nice when it's lit up. Uh, we're just off to our room. We're just gonna get a quick change and then we'll go into the entertainment at the wet and wild section. So we'll currently there's supposed to be a show on the beach. Yeah, so we'll they said nine the o'clock, so <laughs> we'll catch you then. So we're just arriving at the wet and wild section. Just turn up to see what the entertainment's like. On the way here, some guys were trying to offer us some duty free perfume and we weren't having it. And they were spraying it on like the boxes, but you couldn't smell it. So every yeah. time I was like, mmm. Well, how how, how long did it disappear for? Ooh. Talk about. Not point, not one. Yeah. As soon as it sprayed, gone. <laughs> couldn't smell it at all. But... So you were like, oh, no money, no money. But we literally didn't have any money on us anyway. So. <laughs> 200 lira, and he kept asking us how much we'd pay. We were like, 200 lira, because that's all we've got. <laughs> yeah. He went, 200 lira, no, that's that's a gypsy price. I said, no, that's all we've got. <laughs> all right, we're just going off to the entertainment. We'll catch you soon. So, ladies and gentlemen, it's showtime. just got back from the entertainment it was actually really good tonight wasn't it yeah actually yeah it really was i think before they were doing a bit of like stunts on the bikes um similar to last night yeah and then when they got in the cage that's when it got like quite good because it was quite tense me and vicky mm. were watching like because we saw <laughs> we've seen we've seen mistakes and i think if a mistake happened in there it would, would have turned out bad um but it didn't make any mistake it was really good and they ended up being, being was it four people yeah. in the cage at once so yeah it was really good um, we're we'll just off to sleep now and we shall catch you in the morning. Good morning and welcome to our last full day here in Antalya. So I've just got up a little bit earlier this morning and I'm going to make the most of it by going on a little bit of a run. So don't know how long I'm going to go for yet. I'm just going to see how far I think I'm going to go and then I'll turn back around and go back the same way. So I'll let you know how far I've run. Just turned around at the halfway point, the Delphin Imperial, and then we're back off to the hotel. And that's a wrap. Oh, 17 and a half minutes. I'm gonna work out what the distance is now. So it was actually a 2.7 mile run, which is just less than 5k, so for 17 and a half minutes, we'll take that. So I'm just going into the shower now and then we'll catch you soon. 
So I'll just show you where I ran to. So if you can see the hotel there, that's where I ran to. So if you can see how high it actually is when I unzoom. So I'll have to go and get myself my own like cutlery because I've been waiting here for at least five minutes and no one's come over. So round one for breakfast, I've gone for a little bit of like a cheap thing just to get us started with the like the chocolate pancakes, kind of like some pastry and then a chocolate muffin. Another one of my tricks, if you don't want your table to be lost when you come back, I'll leave my sunglasses here on the table as well as like a full drink. So 20 minutes later after coming in, uh, this woman who was like cleaning actually asked do I want a coffee. Um, but like I said, 20 minutes later than when you first come in, you could have finished your food by then. Anyways, round two is cheese omelette, beans, halloumi and potatoes. Same as usual. And final round, just some fruit loops to finish off. One more thing as well. No napkins or anything in there. And then salt. No, no salt. So there's fruit options. So I've just been down and we've got ourselves two cool line refreshers. Um, so we're just about to start packing everything up because we actually leave tomorrow. So we're going to start packing away all of our bits that we're not going to need now um, because we're actually, hopefully, fingers crossed, going to go to the Land of Legends later on. So we don't want to have to worry about doing it when we get back. Yeah, so hopefully we're going to watch the night show down there. So we're hoping to leave here about six o'clock, half six. And then the night show starts at about eight o'clock. So we have time to look round, watch the night show and then come back. And then when we're back, we don't need to worry about packing. Yeah. So we'll catch you soon. So we just sat down for lunch and this is what we've got today. So I've just gone for similar to what I've done in the past few days. So like a creamy pasta, ravioli with tomato sauce and some chips. So we've just had our lunch and we're just off to the pool. Just have a quick chill, soak in that last bit of sun. Um, and then we'll go into Land of Legends later. We booked the travel. We'll show you how we booked it later. You know what the old saying is? Diet starts tomorrow. I'm off into the pool. No being scared today. So we're just heading back to the room now. We're gonna have a chill on our balcony, have a shower, get changed, and we shall catch you once we change, ready for Land of Legends. Going back with the goods again. Two slushies, Fanta, and a Power Ranger. And some crisps. So this is our private travel to London Legends. map to show you how big this place is so I started off just over here and I've walked all the way down through all these shops and I found myself just here so I think the first show that we're going to watch is the fountain show I'm looking forward to when all these lights get turned on at night Mountain show round two. And we're back in the hotel room after a lovely time at Land of Legends. Um, the fountain show was actually really good, especially when it went to night night time and it was all lit up. Mm. It looked really, really good. Um, it was quite a nice vibe as you were walking around as well, which was good. Um, but yeah, we're going to end our one week in Antalya vlog here. So thanks a lot for watching. I hope you've seen like an insight into what it's like here in Antalya. Um, 
any questions do leave them down in the comment section below drop us a like and subscribe thank you very much Bye.